All right, we're just getting right into this one. But first of all, this challenge is brought to you guys by Gunner. I've seen him leave this comment a few times and I figured, you know what? This would be fun to do. Let's try it out. So basically just to sum up this challenge, the only perk we can use is Tombstone and we have to try to make it all the way up to health cap, which is round 55. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little rusty. Oh, uh, let's see if we can make it through this. And honestly, Tombstone is my most hated perk in this game. Probably one of the most useless perks in this game. So let's see if we can even get anything done with it. But I decided to hop in here with just a 1911, you know, classic zombie stuff. I did throw a camo on it and a little ball sack charm just for fun. But while I was customizing my 1911 and everything, I remembered that there's all kinds of gestures in this game. And I completely forgot that they took these out of COD. Like coming back to this game, it, it kind of made me a little sad to see the current state of COD right now. Because it seems like there's so much more polish and love put into this game and a whole lot more features that are just completely removed or just non-existent in newer ones like look at this i can straight up teabag the zombie have a smoke after take a little hit and even play with my nut like why do they get rid of stuff like this on top of that look at my operator this is like the best operator ever released this was like a tier 100 skin for the battle pass and this is the alternate form of it that you can get by doing some challenges like it, this is like the perfect channel colors and everything cold war really did like most things right the only bad thing it did was not give us more zombies maps but this is definitely the best cod out of the modern cods there's hardly a blemish on this game but what i'm gonna do here is probably stay in the first room for a few rounds because it's not like there's much else for me to do and i'm starting out with tesla storm i might switch it to aether shroud later but i think tesla storm might be our best bet for getting points early here but if i remember correctly whenever i do like first room challenges and stuff on this map i would use tesla storm to help deal with like the megatons because it just basically stuns them and allows me to get like free damage on him so maybe i'll end up sticking with it for the whole run i'm not sure yet we'll, we'll see how i'm doing i haven't mean to come back to cold war i took a bit of a break from it because i was a little burnt out we did like two back-to-back -back dark aether series and i was going through and doing all the easter eggs a bunch of times I, I, I just got a little tired for me but i really do love this game and i'd love to come back on here and do challenges so if you guys have any like zombies challenges for me let me know we'll see if we can get them done and i really don't think the difficulty is going to really start ramping up for this challenge until we hit like about round 30 i think that's when the zombies start sprinting their health gets a little out of control and since we're not allowed to have any of the other perks it's gonna be really noticeable on how much stronger the zombies are getting compared to us and while these zombies are kind of slow and dumb what i want to do is try to get them all grouped up together here come on zombie go ahead with your friends and now that they're all grouped up i'm gonna tesla storm and get all the extra points just from running around them i right, back away for a second and come back so they get electrified it's plus 10 points every time and it's beautiful this is just free money i'm probably gonna do that like one or two more times and then i'll go through and turn power on and everything oh, this is such a beautiful map too having knocked out here being on the outside of knocked a little little refreshing and all the artwork on the outside too is just glorious like this map looks so good all right we'll leave this last zombie and let's go get power on man even the inside of here looks really cool too such a beautiful map let's preemptively grab our loose change we'll see if i can find the sweet spot to grab this loose change there we go i remember when you used to be able to lay down right into this water and it would get all glitchy and this is one of the cooler parts of the map too being able to go underneath of knocked see project end station down here this map's sweet i can't believe i'm like nostalgic for a game that was only like three years old oh yeah we had more than enough money to turn on power there we go We'll do that. Grab the loose change. Oh, yeah. I forgot about turning on the terminals. And they're on. Go ahead and show me your hole. Your wormhole, that is. Like, this map does so good with, like, contrasting colors. Like, the whole map is, like, white and snowy, and it has all the colorful graffiti. And then in here, it's all, like, metallic gray with all the, the purple aether, whatever, coming through. That's so sweet. And I was saying earlier that I don't have that many issues with Cold War, but here's another major issue. They do not use the dark aether enough. This is so beautiful and we hardly ever see it. I was expecting there to be like a whole map inside. Ooh, we got a Pellington from that. And some body armor. Forgot about armor too. I got a little sidetracked, but I was expecting there to be like an entire map inside of the dark aether. And really all we got was this. Not saying this is bad, but I just wanted like way more of it. I just love the aesthetic of the dark aether. Just like the blue sky with the big jellyfish going around it's just awesome but let's go ahead and buy our, our only perk where's tombstone which one there it is gross dude the absolute worst perk let me grab the pack-a-punch part and let's restore pack-a-punch beautiful let me see if i remember how to do the coffin dance glitch or glitch easter egg what the fuck am i talking about beautiful that's such a fun easter egg too a little dated now. I, I'm pretty sure the meme was pretty dated by the time this came out, but still a cool Easter egg. All right, what you got for me in here, though? 
Oh, a Hauer? How are these nuts? I'll grab that over the Pellington. The attachments on this are kind of ass, though. And I will not be picking this up. That can stay in the ground. But since the Hauer is pretty decent, I will pack a punch it. I think a Megaton just spawned. And this will be my uh, Shatter Blast weapon. Oh, what are you doing right next to me? I was not expecting him to be that close, but we immediately split him. We one-shot split him. Bro's a one-pump chump. What about his buddies? You guys also one-pump chumps? Almost. I gotta remember, these guys hit like tanks, though. There we go. Both down. Okay, I can't get too cocky. I really don't want to go down at like, what, round 10? That'd be embarrassing. We gotta wait at least until round 11. And this thing's already legendary, so we don't need to upgrade it, but we can upgrade our armor. It's beautiful. Let's see if Shatter Blast is as broken as I remember it being. Oh yeah, that's pretty busted. But what I'm really scared of is once we start hitting like near round 40, 50-ish, is when Super Sprinters come out, and I'm not gonna have stamina up. So I'm gonna be at the mercy of my own training which has been out of practice for a long time. I almost just died right there because of it. But Shatter Blast can carry for a bit. How much damage am I doing to these guys? Ah, uh, we can still take them out pretty easily at the moment. I'm sure that won't last. But we got enough for pack two, so let's keep scaling this weapon up. And I think once we get pack three, I might turn on the Rampage Inducer. I might be a little bit of a dirty dog and try to speed this thing up. We reached our first milestone at round 15. Just about 40 rounds to go. You know what? Actually, I'm moving the goalposts. No matter what, at round 20, I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer. Whether I have pack three or not. Oh, and Carpenter. Carpenter's so useful now. There's hardly even any windows that you really need to repair. And I don't feel like I did that much in Cold War anyways, but it repairing armor is so clutch. It'd be cool to see if in the next Black Ops game, they have a map where it's kind of uh, based around windows that you need to repair. Or what they could do is kind of just throw in Zombies Chronicles too, and maybe we'll have maps that have that already. You know, just toss those in there. I wouldn't mind. Or if they're really that hellbent on not giving us Zombies Chronicles 2, what they could do since the game's on Steam now, or at least COD games in the future will be on Steam, open up workshop maps again. Getting custom maps would be amazing because BO3 customs are great, but it's just built on such like a bad security system. Like it can be exploited so badly that people can get kernel access to your computer. On top of that, just constantly boot you offline. So it'd be cool if uh, they decide to reopen it back up in terms of custom ability and having people making maps for the game. I'd really love to see it with like these updated graphics and everything. All right, this is our last round of freedom. Let's try to just get a little bit more cash so I can get pack a punch before I got to turn the rampage inducer on. It's going to be a lot more difficult to do it when I have zombies sprinting at me like Usain Bolt. Okay, I think these are the last zombies in the round. Let's go do it. Pack a punch three, come on over. Oops, almost backed out of the game. And now this is where the pain starts. Rampage inducer, go ahead. Now we'll know exactly when we get to health cap because the rampage inducer will turn itself off. And just to be safe, I am buying a death machine. So let's see if I can remember my train. Definitely not go that way. Those are the stairs of death. And that is the tree of death. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I, I needed this. I need a little warm up here with faster zombies. So I think I always try to go through b between these trees instead of around because there's a spawn right by the other tree. Don't want to get caught over there. And I kind of just run until they're all close together. And I give them a little bit of this. And that usually does a, a decent amount of work. Just got to keep track of my ammo too. Not like ammo is a hard thing to come across in Cold War, but it would really suck to run out of it. Now we just kind of have to do this for 35 rounds. Let's hope that I don't fuck it up. Oh shit. Oh, what's going on, big daddy? Oh yeah, this how are, how are these nuts is not doing very well against them. Eh, nah, it's, it's still kind of decent. It's doing about like one eighth of his health every time, which is only going to get lower and lower as the rounds go on. But we're still making it through. Oh, a fire sale? Let's see if I can try to hit the box with all these zombies here. I do have a Tesla Storm. Let's do it. Come on, go ahead and give me a ray gun. Nope. All right. We tried. Gotta love these dog rounds, though. I'm not gonna lie. I really hate plague hounds. I think they're an annoying enemy. Not that they're difficult to deal with or anything, but their movement patterns are weird. They leave a big fart cloud where they die. But dog rounds in any zombies game is just a free round. Well, not any zombies game. I'm pretty sure World at War was hard as shit. But it's just so much faster to get through a dog round than any zombie type round. It's a big time saver. So you know what? As much as I don't like these little fucks, I appreciate the time they saved me. You know what? So far, so good. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think I still got it. I'm still that guy. And now we can Tesla storm this guy. Easy takeout. And now we just have to wait the whole three business days for him to split. And good thing these are the only guys left because I just realized how low on ammo I am. So if you guys could go ahead and die for me so I can buy some up, that'd be swell. Thank you. Dang, we're getting a lot of fire sales. Let's hit it. What do we get? 
Oh, the Swiss? Not a bad weapon. I mean, snipers are my favorite for zombies, especially since we can't collapse more than like two or three of them. But a fun weapon nonetheless. So I'm going to hold on to the 1911 though. I'm only going to switch it out if I get the, the shockwave or the ray gun. Ooh, and we're starting to get more armored zombies too. And I'm pretty sure this doesn't have any attachments to deal with armored zombies. If my memory serves me right, I think it's a barrel and maybe a, a muzzle attachment that helps. I'm pretty sure I have the suppressor on, which maybe gives more salvage drop. And an optic that does nothing, especially on a shotgun. It's going to be aiming down sides of the shotgun unless you're going for critical kills. I don't need any more camos for this. It would be sweet though if they had like camo prestiging. I can go for it all over again on the same account. So I don't know if I want to buy the game again. At least not yet. We'll have to wait a little bit longer if we're going to do a third account. Oh, is that a Gersh device on the ground? I haven't seen one of those in ages. I'll pick that up just for fun. You guys can enjoy. Yeah, get eight. One of the coolest tacticals ever. I really shouldn't have used my Tesla Storm to pick that up though. These zombies are getting tough. We're hitting round 30. We're just a little over halfway there. And I kind of need an oh shit button. Because even though we do have tombstone, I don't know if I can use it to get myself back up. I don't think I've ever successfully gotten myself up with tombstone. It was a very disappointing perk when it came out and it still is today. Sorry, Megaton. Get Tesla Storm, bitch. Go ahead and split. Go for it. Oh, that's very close. That's so close. Ooh, I forget how slow the health regen is too without Jug. It's insane how used you get to a lot of these perks and how much they help out. Oh no! Oh, I hate it when the Megatons just start running at you. Like the splits, they'll be walking real slow one second, maybe even charging up a shot. And then all of a sudden they're sprinting at you about the Falcon punch you across the whole map. It's a terrifying sight. These are definitely like the scariest elite zombie in this game. They're just so tanky and they can do so much damage from like up close and from far. It's either the Megatons or the Abominations actually. The Abominations are pretty tough to deal with too. I feel like there's always just so much going on on Forsaken that the Abominations kind of just sit back and snipe. Like there's just 800 elites on that map where you can't even really focus on the Abomination that much. I need to start using these power-ups to my advantage. Well, it's, it's the kill. I got to use this 1911 to save some ammo. Classic zombie shit. Honestly, the Rampage Inducer ain't that bad. Knock on wood right now for me. I can. I'm training. But the hardest part about it is getting it turned on. Pause. Because it's really scary at first when the zombies start running fast, but you just kind of get used to it. But also, we got a fire sale during that. And we got a whole lot of nothing out of it. But by far, the best part about the Rampage Inducer is when you're trying to go for high rounds, just how fast it is in between rounds. Like the second one round ends, the next one starts. There's no downtime. And when you're fully set up, the downtime doesn't even matter. I don't need to go pack a punch my weapon or go buy more perks. I have everything I need right now. I just need the next round to start. I am getting a little scared though, because my armor is getting low. And I feel like if I try to go down in the armor stand, I will die. I have a better chance of just waiting for armor to drop. And it did. Look at that beautiful give me that oh that's why they call it the tree of death that was scary as fuck i don't know why i tried to go that way Ooh, and that max ammo couldn't have come at a better time let's go dude damn these things are fucking tanky now jeez i'm gonna have to stun here oh that's still so risky holy fuck this is scary all right stun again let me throw a nade from further back. Beautiful. I pick up that insta-kill, but I really need to start working towards getting my Tesla Storm back. That's the worst thing about insta-kill. And it's kind of a, a decent nerf to it. Is while insta-kill's active, you cannot gain progress towards your field upgrade. Even though it would help out a lot, I can't do it. I need that oh shit button so bad. Oh, and it's doing nothing to them. I think this might be my last round where I can kind of use the shotgun against them. It's just too risky. I'm going to have to start hitting them with uh, the death machine. Oh, and now I think my armor is broken. Oh, wait. We repaired it a little bit. A little small armor pieces on the ground. Come on, die. There we go. Couldn't even do me a courtesy of dropping some armor. Maybe when these zombies will do it. Nope. Maybe if we get a dog round, I'll get the chance to go get it. But I don't want to waste a Tesla Storm on buying it. The only thing I'll waste a Tesla Storm on is the box. It might not be the smartest move, but I'm not the smartest man. Oh, shit. There goes the armor. Oh, only 17 health. Only 17 health. We got to keep running. And we got to keep this plague out away from us. Oh, come on. We got really lucky last time with them dropping armor. Let's go ahead and get lucky again. Come on, zombies. I know you want to drop it. All right. I actually might have to use the Tesla Storm. Let's go get armor. I'm caving. 
We'll just do it. We'll activate it early. Throw a nade over by them. Quickly re-grab it. And then we're gonna go up through the elevator. Oh, it's not even open. Shit. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Let's get up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Open door. Open door. Open door. Open door. Come on. Come on. Woo! I might have to spend the rest of the round here. I don't know if I'll be able to actually make it through knocked. At least I have to train them up a little bit before I try. This is all happening during a fucking blizzard, too. I can't see dick. All right, let's get out of here. We can make it. Come on. Beautiful. Home sweet home. Oh, and we got a carpenter. Where were you earlier? Oof, that was a stressful round. I'm definitely starting to see a few super sprinters. These dudes are fucking fast. Nothing Shatter Blast can't take care of, though. Can't run away from that. You can really tell that the health has gone up dramatically because this isn't even one-shotting zombies anymore. Maybe with a headshot it could, but I ain't dealing with that. Oh, we got a fire sale, though. Let's grab that. And then we'll have a few seconds here to try to hit the box. Come on. We're 39 rounds into this. You better give me something good. Fuck off. Oh, no, no. Tesla Storm. Ooh, that's scary. I still almost died with Tesla Storm on and insta-kill. That's why I hate Plague Hounds. Their gas is just toxic as fuck. Oh, round 40. We're 15 rounds away. This has actually been a little easier than I thought. I'm knocking on wood myself now. This is what happens. I, I talk myself into a corner. It's like my commentator's curse is as bad at training as me. Okay. Megaton, you gotta go. Time for your ass to get split. There you go. Now we wait for your buddies to come along. Let's see if I can get them. No, I gotta run. Woo! Oh, I see a cashmere on the ground. Oh, of course you would walk right over it. Let me get the cashmere. It'll make this a lot easier. There it is. Eat it. Enjoy. Let me get my stuns back, though. Oh, these zombies do not seem to care about the cashmere. Let me go stand by it, then. All right, maybe it didn't help out too much. Okay, you're being a dickhead trying to block my area, dude. Eat the death machine. Oh, he is eating it. There you go. Enjoy. Now we shoot the rest of these. We go buy me a new one. Buy me a drink. There it is. Those things are a pain in the ass. Ooh, with insta-kill on the Megaton? It's kind of crazy. Does I already have my Tesla Storm? I don't mind going for it. And we already got them split without using it. And that makes it so much easier on us. We just got to come over here, activate it, and hopefully this will fuck them up. Another insta-kill too. We just knife them for good measure. Let's go. Hey, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that second insta-kill. So I'm just going to have to run until it's out. And now uh, we're chilling. We're big chilling, actually. We got this in the bag. Oh, I forgot how long this takes. I'm wiped out. There we go. Round 50. We're only five rounds away. I do not have my gamer stamina up. If I was going for round 100 right now, I'd probably have to go take a nap. It's taken about like two hours just to get to round 50. I'm being very inefficient. We're still going strong. I have not gone down yet. Knock on wood, though. I'm not going to go down here in the final stretch. Get out of here, Megaton. Hopefully, it's the last we see of you throughout this run. Oh, this is scary. This is so scary. No. Oh, we don't have our Tesla Storm anymore either. Come on. Regenerate health. And now somebody drop armor. Someone's got to have armor in them. Come on. Stop holding out on me. Oh, I jumped right into that zombie. That could have been the run right there. Oh, my God. I had to start talking about... Oh, I'm not going to go down. Commentator curse gets me every time, and I still don't learn. Want a carpenter? Anything? Please, bro. Okay, Tesla Storm. Let's pull out the death machine. And kind of just thin down the herd a bit. That's one of them. Oh, and we're out. Holy shit. Oh, we took them both out. Okay, cool. There's only a few zombies left. We need to run down and get armor now. I was so content with just never buying armor this game and like, oh, I'll get it as a drop. It's not happening as often as you'd think. Ooh, and I am not putting myself in a good position to get it back either. Let's buy it. Perfect. So let's head right back up. Holy shit. My asshole has a six pack by the way I was clenching it so hard. I would have been so pissed if we, we went down here on 50. So I'm almost positive I wouldn't have been able to get myself back up. I have no idea how to use Tombstone correctly. But come on, just five rounds to go. We can do this. I do need to buy a death machine. Thank God for our dog round. We definitely needed a break. And you know what? I'm buying cashmeres. We got all this salvage. We might as well use it. Oh, and now they're going to drop me armor. Cool. Whatever, game. Okay, apparently we're not done with the Megatons. We got another one. Come here. Eat the Tesla Storm. Like you just ate my armor. 
Let's get you split without using our death machine. There we go. Oh, no! Ooh, oh, no. Okay. What are we doing in this situation? I have a self-revive, but I feel like it's cheating to use that. I'm going to have to tombstone shadow. Oh, shit. Okay. We spawned way up here. Can I even get over to myself? I can't open any doors. This door is open now. Okay, we'll go up here. We got this. No need to panic. Oh, we're, we're big chilling. No, we're not. That zombie's in my way. Come on. Get up. No, you bastard. Fuck. No. Oh, I was talking such a big game too. And we only made it to round 52. Man, that was basically a no perk run. A perkless run up until then. And that should not count as two downs. To be honest, not that bad for my first time back in a bit. Definitely disappointed. I am super disappointed we couldn't get all the way to health cap, but we're only three rounds short. If I wouldn't have made that dumb mistake of going down right there, we definitely would have gotten it. But to my credit, I didn't use that self-revive even though we had one just to kind of stay true to the challenge. But man, is that disappointing. Well, if you guys got any zombie challenges for me, let me know. You know, leave them down below. But that was a lot of fun. I, I had fun coming back to Cold War Zombies. And uh, I think we can do a little better in the future. But that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.